please tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Mike, and I'm from the Tri-Cities. And we know that you have an awesome testimony to share with us all here tonight. So can you begin by telling us how you first came about our church? Well, my then fiance was uh, coming here for about two, th two times, and she really liked it, so I just decided to come by. And when you came here, what was your first impression of Hungry Generation? Well, I thought that it was a little crazy. I mean, I wasn't, wasn't used to it, but I liked the energy and the messages were good, so I decided to stay. And so before coming here, can you explain for us a little bit about what your life was like and if you had any experience with church at all before coming? Well, I did go to a traditional conservative church before, and once I uh, turned 18, I decided to go my own way. I uh, started smoking weed, drinking, and pretty much doing my own thing. And doing all that stuff, did it produce for you the kind of life that you were hoping for? No, I just, I mean, I thought I was living good and having fun, but at the, at the end, it wasn't, wasn't worth it. It wasn't fulfilling. So can you tell us, when did you decide to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ? Uh, about the third time I came to Hungry Generation, I just decided it was time. I mean, I was going to do it the second time, but something held me back. <laughs> so now that you've uh, given your life to Jesus Christ, what kind of changes have you had in your life since then? Well, at first uh, I got married, so that's... <laughs> Raise your hand, Anna, raise your hand. <laughs> and uh, then I took the step, got baptized, and I, on the leaders now, I'm helping with the home group right now, and I actually had my uh, mind made up, I was going to move to Ellensburg for a promotion with my job, and uh, just trusted God in the same exact position opened up here in the Tri-Cities, so I just uh, got a chance to stay here. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. That's awesome. Truly our God can make a way where there seems to be no way. So, Mike, now that, you, now that your life has completely changed after giving your life to Jesus Christ, what are your goals and what advice do you have for people who are here who might have been in the same situation that you were in before? Well, I thought if I rededicated my life to Jesus, then uh, my life would be boring. I would just go to church, come home, go to work. But in all reality, your life will become a lot more fulfilling. I mean, Jesus will turn it 180 degrees around. I mean, and uh, my goal is to eventually see 10 people in my home group. Amen. That's so awesome. Let's put our hands together for wonderful Jesus. Jesus. 